What's up everyone, Freakenstein here, and we're back with uh, this third party company, Rising Force, and uh, we've already done this guy right here. Uh, I can't even pronounce that name. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Um, but yeah, it's drag strip. And so we have catfish and a crow to do. And I already got him in his arm mode. So we're just going to put him off to the side and same with his box. And I think we're going to go with catfish today, which I believe is dead end. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. So here is the box warning, warning, warning. And there is this barcode if you want to scan that. Um, and at rising force dash toys. So let's get him out of the package. And uh, this would, in my eyes, would be considered a legend scale um, transformer um, because they're not very big, but you know. So uh, there we go, we got that out. He does come with his gun, which we can put on the car right there if we'd like to. And of course, Catfish comes with his instructions. I'm hoping that when Motormaster comes, we'll have the actual instructions how to transform these guys because all I've been able to do is look at pictures. But okay, so we'll put those instructions to the side and we can take a look at this guy. There is the front and the side and the back and the other side underneath you can see his head and there is the top of the vehicle not much not much it does roll really well just like the other one um, but yeah a very cool feeling figure it doesn't feel like it, it, it's cheap or anything and for a couple bucks like I believe it was under $20 for each one of these characters I think that's a really good price for this size of transformer um, and uh, he does scale up, I guess we can just get out a few things here. So there he is next to New Age Jazz. Let's see if we got anything else over here. Oh, we do. Okay. We have a few things we can actually compare him to. So there he is next to new age optimus prime and we can get a look at the size comparison and of course we can put him with new ages mirage and they size up fairly well fairly well i'll just put all that to the side now so uh, let's like I said, you can. He has weapon sword. You can stick that right on top. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? So it's saying to pull this out. Separate. I'm saying to separate the arms as well. Come on. I'm trying to separate these arms. Maybe it'll be. There we go. So we separate the arms. There we go. I had to pull it out a little bit. So separate this like this. Thing to fold out the fist and I don't have my spudger thing here so don't try this at home folks <laughs> don't break your toys I'm just being very gentle as gentle as possible with it so saying to spread that I'm thinking it's telling me to do this. 
and then all this will come around and we can pull out this foot again very tight <laughs> tight joints Come on, don't scratch. Okay, so we can get out his foot. Oh, we missed a step here. We can fold this wheel all the way in, that's cool. And this should all come back into place. Just like that so same thing for this side um, I'm going to open up this panel right there the leg will fold down and you can fold this oh not yet got a little ahead of myself we got to get this part out which I'm gonna have to use the scissors again there we go. Now we can pull the wheel all the way in and close that back up just like that. So now that we have that done, we can move all this down, straighten out his head, bring his shoulders down, flip in these parts right here and angle his fist in the right way and just push that back together now we're just gonna rotate and he is done he is done not too bad not too bad let's take a closer look at him I don't know if this comes down anymore, but I don't want to chance it. Well, that's, I guess that's fine, just how it is. There's the back of him. So his head rotates, looks up and down. Shoulders can do a full 360. You have an elbow bend, and it is on a swivel. Arms go that far. Um, waist rotation but not bend um, by rotation he can kick out that far he can kick all the way back and all the way forward the knee will bend and he does have ankle tiltage not bad not bad at all so there he is and we can give him his gun and of course here he is next to his buddy I'm not gonna transform him I already said I'm not he, he's a little bit the that yellow plastic that I don't trust so he's just saying how he is but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my giveaway videos all you have to do is be a subscriber to win and that should be coming very soon so before we go uh, we can take a look at what he looks like next to a new age uh, sound wave and a new age hound and a new age uh, wheeljack uh, oversized grimlock um, uh, what is his name <laughs> uh, wow new ages oversized grimlock and of course mech fan toys um, blaster so he does square up pretty well with all these guys if you ask me he looks really good and I'm really liking the price. I'm really liking the quality. I like that it still is a mix between the G1 cartoon and actual toy from back in the day. So, like always, this is Freakenstein saying, keep playing. Freakenstein, out. Oh.